Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana, and today we're playing some more Sims Free Seasons. Sail Trader confirms all of your worst fears. You have been a terrible parent. They have no hope of future success. Asked by Wadi Lad on Lad. Wadi Lad on Lad. Okay, well, I don't know why I said that so weird. Third is tomorrow. It's the first time that she's actually done this, and I think it's definitely you know making her worry just a little bit. It's just it's, it's a new experience, even though it's really good quality. She feels like this is the most disgusting thing she's ever. Eaten. But Cassie. All that baby has gone to your butt. God damn. Knowing he's been trying to do all of the, you know, the little things that he knows that Cassie would appreciate him doing, even though he doesn't really care much for them. You know, Cassie's the one who likes order. She loves a clean house. She loves to do laundry. She loves to take care of things. That's just how Cassie is. And she also loves to work really hard. So she's not a slacker. She will not sit here and be like, mm, the house is dirty. Salem, go do it. Salem, on the other hand, he is a lazy bum. He just is really lazy. But being with Cassie has inspired him to really try and make something. Especially now that there's a baby coming. He's really tr he's starting to mature. Like, you wouldn't think this. Like, just the thought of a baby coming would just mature someone. Especially especially Salem who has um let's take a look at this personality he's very lazy right so it's definitely not in him to be this active around the house but becoming a dad is definitely changing him for the good and it's going to be heartbreaking when he realizes that he's not going to be a dad he's going to be a stepdad cassie has not been to the doctor whatsoever this is frustrating her a little bit it's not frustrating it's, it's stressing her a little bit i'm talking so fast i can't even understand myself tomorrow we're gonna schedule an appointment at the doctor for tomorrow and um, check up on the baby. Make sure that, you know, we are all set to go for this performance. Some, something about being pregnant tonight before the concert is just freaking me out. And I just need, I need to know that things are all right. Oh, poor Cassie. It's just throwing up once again, feeling really flipping disgusting, really, really nasty. Salem wants to attend a health checkup, so... <laughs> Um, are, is, is there something going on that I don't know? I think he wants to make sure that he's healthy enough for the baby or something. I don't really know. Anyway, so it is, oh wow, it's 4 a.m. I did not flipping think it was this early. Oh my gosh. Okay, definitely, definitely. Let's, let's get ourselves in bed. Let's, um, have a kiss together because I know Cassie really wanted to, you know, to smooch a little bit. And then um, I guess I'll have them go to bed. So Cassie is the big day. So I'm going to have her go to sleep. And Salem has offered to clean up her puke. Because how how nice. How sweet. How sweet. How sweet is this dude uh, you know, offering to clean. How sweet is this dude offering to clean up her puke. Because she's pregnant and her concert is coming up. He is just. He is the sweetest. I swear to you. He is maturing a little bit. He's maturing and, you know, it, do, it takes different things for every person to kind of mature, you know, like everyone has a different stage in life where they mature and everyone, even even if you think like you don't, everyone matures a little bit, even just the slightest 0.01111%, everyone matures a little bit. Ah, uh, Betty's in heat once again. <laughs> Third is a tomorrow, and this is like a bit. Ooh, what is this? Saturday, it's talk like a pirate day. Oh, okay. I wanted to do something else. Um, so I am realizing that having some twenty-eight days is just really, really long, and even just seven days is just too short. I wish there was like a mid thing. Um, so I'm bringing this down because I want things to be progressing a little faster than I thought initially that I did and I am someone who likes to play of course very long storylines but I feel like at this point dragging things on too long has been kind of my downfall sent for this morning she also had a bad dream it's not a good morning for Cassie not at all back and has completed her health checkup and we can see what her health um, status is like exactly so our next checkup is due in 17 days we have a normal blood pressure so that's really good especially being pregnant um cassie was measured to be overweight cassie might find they get tired a little faster than if they have a healthy body weight they're also increased uh, risk of other health issues that could result in a shorter lifespan it is recommended that cassie exercises by jogging or running on a treadmill to improve their fitness 
So it looks like Cassie, you're in fact overweight. I'm sorry, girl. I I don't think you're that fat, but apparently the game says you're overweight, so you you are in fact fat. Well, I mean, overweight doesn't mean you're fat, but I guess you can't be fat unless you're overweight. So that's that's the thing. Okay, drifting off. Um, this is why does it why does everything always sound so mean when I say it? Of um thing where. Open day, open day at the doctor's where you can just come in for a free health checkup. It takes like 10 minutes, 10, 10, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. It takes like 20 minutes and um, that's all it really takes. So I'm going to take care of my plants um, just real quick. I feel like my plants are looking quite dead. Oh my God. Why are they so dead? Cassie, come here. I'm going to teach her hunger. Cheat, 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 cheat her hunger. Um, my bees have, what are my bees up to? Wow. Okay. Partially full. So let's let's collect our honey or let's sell it why don't we sell it i don't really have any use for you know honey you know like that kind of thing anyway so cassie um we haven't made arrangement in a while as well oh my gosh like we're we have so much to do and we've just been focusing on this concert and this whole flipping you know uh, what's the word? Like this whole flipping, I can't find the word. Wow, did I just forget what I was going to say? I probably did. We've been focusing on the baby and the concert too much. That's the point. Elim um, is healthy. Okay, so it needs to build up some fat and stuff. Blood pressure is nice. It looks like everything's fine with Salem. This outfit. Oh, okay, just one second though. Just one second. I installed some new mods, some new body mods that uh, allow you to have like a bit more of bit more blah 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 a bit more um boobs hips and butt but get it <laughs> i think that cassie's boobers are a little too big okay cassie has boobers for um uh, cassie's never had these bigger these big old titties okay what's what's her secret right what's her secret whatever she wants she can accomplish but she's never actually had a chance to um, perform and to see if it's actually something for her i mean you can want something like no problem you can want something but that doesn't mean that you're you know you are um like you're meant for it and one second holy boo ho oh my holy tits oh my god oh my gosh okay this mod definitely um oh my gosh okay <laughs> if i had titties like that big i would pull that face too oh my god okay more okay wow <laughs> okay all right what what uh, what okay I, I i have no words i have no words unemployed right now which i am going to select another job for me in just a second but for now i just wanted to focus on you know this i had a singer career which i thought was perfect for um um, what's the word for this um, let's play for this sim but it bugged out really bad so I had to remove it so we're gonna have to find another another gym another thing anyway so it looks like it's almost time for her concert I am flipping flipping excited we're gonna start our well we're gonna start our concert this is this is insane I'm actually you know having a full-blown personal you know the one 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 to thousand you know, a concert, but we are definitely, definitely having a performance going on, which is flipping crazy. Hire some staff for a um, professional DJ. We have money enough anyway. So let's hire a professional DJ. And then why don't we get over here? What is this? Hire staff? Hire? Ooh, okay. Um, we want a good I think with our voice, yeah, let's do guitar. Okay, there we go. Cassie's just getting everyone in the right spot. We just hired some of our close friends that we know from back when we were in the social media career and stuff like that. Savannah had like millions of billions, trillions of contact. Thing is just getting into its place. Uh, there's not a lot of people here. I must admit that there's only actually only us and then there's Savannah and Miko who are chatting up um, in the bathroom and then we have our friend um, Jay Huntington and then there's um Pablo who is Savannah's fiance. So there's not a lot of people But I guess maybe the people are gonna come in later if they don't come. It's gonna be kind of like a flop I mean, oh my god, like imagine nobody shows up that would be Oh my god, I don't think I, I know what to do. Like, 
what i don't know if i don't think i know what to do if nobody shows up like i'm i'm scared that nobody is going to show up what if nobody cares about my voice like, nobody no what if nobody wants to hear me perform he's feeling a little worried that cassie may get discouraged because this is her first concert and it's not you know gonna go perfect there is oh my there's always something that's just not working right why can't we not go here it's of course not a very closed off so there's obviously gonna be people that want to stand and st stand in cassie's face who is this lillian landgrab and then this is and darling walsh okay so maybe there's a little bit of a flaw there where people aren't exactly sitting down but she's rocking it she's going it she oh she mastered the singing skill this is absolutely perfect Obviously, this is a little bit of this is flawed. It's obviously flawed. It's not perfect. It's you know It's it sims. You can't really perfectly make a concert, but this is the closest thing I can actually do to make it look like we're having a concert Um, so hopefully this works. This gives the impression that Cassie's indeed having a flipping, you know, concert and you you and your big old titties just scare me. That's just so flipping scary. Oh no, this is absolutely the worst. Cassie is not feeling great. It looks like poor Cassie is not feeling herself whatsoever. Her sound isn't it's not perfect she doesn't sound like she normally does maybe it's the nerves maybe not but she's just feeling super flipping discouraged right now she's not she's not having it and she's just i don't know like she's happy all of her friends showed up she's really appreciative of this and she knows that all of her friends are cheering her up and they're there for her but she's feeling really 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 insecure right now Salem um, is feeling stuffed up, so I guess he's feeling a little bit under the weather as well. And he's also real. Oh, okay. He's he looks a little bit sick. It's just not for me. Like maybe I don't have the attitude and the charisma for this. Maybe I'm just too boring. I mean, I don't mind singing, you know, around every now and then, but maybe actually full blown concerts are not my thing. Salem, of course, is being like, babe, like what the heck? Like what the heck? Hey, don't you dare talk like that like don't you dare talk are you just where did they get the drink from hey it's gonna be better next time here's a toast to you you did amazing and that's of course that makes her just feel so so much better so much better not go as planned definitely not but i think that cassie has realized one thing and one thing only that even though she feel she felt really sad like she's not that sad Cassie felt really crap like just bottom line she felt really really crappy and it had nothing to do with her concert whatsoever I mean her friends were there to cheer her up and what could she have possibly expected nobody really knows her yet she this is her first her first proper like show off with like singing and her first proper performance but it was just really unfortunate that she felt really sick and I think this pregnancy is just stressing her out so much and the whole concert is stressing her out so much. She can possibly think about performing again with all of this going on in her life. She definitely needs a good break, a good, just, just a really positive and relaxed and just a whole different attitude that she doesn't have right now. So awful. Excuse me, don't talk about my baby Cassie like that. Anyway. Salem is just so proud of his girlfriend, so proud of his wife. But Cassie is feeling, even though she's really happy, she's feeling really, really stressed. And I think this is the part where she's going to do something that is not maybe a good opportunity. She is feeling all flustered and red. She's blushing. She's like, oh my god, like how the heck am I gonna tell this dude this, right? How the heck am I gonna say this to this dude that is not his baby? So, um um we're gonna just kind of talk just 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 you know try to hint towards something i mean we are in a position right now like that we're so stressed that i'm like i have no problems just blurting out like hey this is not your baby excuse me why can't we get in the house did i lock did i perhaps lock the door oh uh, i think i locked i accidentally locked the door for betty i'm sorry betty i think cassie is just I think you know when you're super stressed you start saying things that you don't really mean and I think this is one of those moments and this is gonna, probably gonna be their biggest fight ever or is this gonna draw them in even closer 
And I don't think if the bathroom, I don't know if the bathroom is the perfect place to say things like this, but I don't, um, I don't, I don't really know if there's a perfect place in general, but it looks like the two of them were having quite of a heated discussion, like, oh, what are you saying? Like, what is that? Oh, what's going on? Um, and, um, just, just gonna, um, I don't want to be too mean, but we're just gonna argue a little bit out the live voice. Let's just, let's just, you know, blow it out. Cassie's like, oh my god, Cassie chickened out. Oh my god, she was gonna tell him and she chickened out. I cannot believe she just did this. Salem is left, he's practicing, he's singing. She's like, I don't, this, this was so weird. Like, he's gonna brush his teeth, get ready for bed, thinking, what the heck just happened? She started to act so weird. She's trying to, like, ask me things about, yeah, what do you think? Like, what is this baby? And really odd questions, which is like, why would she ask me this? And now he's starting to think, like, what if she actually is hiding something from me? She's been so stressed lately, and shouldn't she be happy with the baby? I mean, I know being a mother is probably really scary for you, but what? You can cure? I didn't know you could cure that with some tea. Anyway, but he's like thinking, huh, there must be something else. Like, there must be something else going on, and I don't really know what it is. There is, of course, this option where he could ask her, but he feels like she's been acting weird for like two or three weeks now, and she still has no clue what's going on, and it doesn't look like Cassie is the type to really complain to him, so he's worried that maybe it's something bad. Like, what if it's something really, really bad, and she's not going to tell him because that's how she is. But boy, oh boy, what did I suspiciously not drag around here, huh? What did I not put on the table for Salem to find? <laughs> Salem, okay, Salem is not the type. Okay, first of all, Salem is not the type to do this, but Cassie's been acting so weird that he's like, like, I don't actually, you know what? I actually don't know. See, I think Salem is too good of a sim, too good of a person to snoop around in her, you know, her journal. I don't think he would purposely, this just chair is a different color than the rest, I just noticed. <laughs> I don't think he would do that, so I'm gonna put, um, put this away, because I don't think he would flip and do that. So while he's putting that away, right, while he's putting that away, some pages slip, right? Some pages slip out, just um, a page or a photo or something, or maybe something, something that hints towards, um, you know, another man something slips out and he didn't see this on purpose but it just kind of slipped out because i think that's the only way that he would actually get the book and start reading right so it slips out and he's like what the heck is this and because you know it slipped out he didn't mean to read it he's actually going to snoop in the journal now yeah that makes a lot of sense so now that he's really curious he's like hmm like what is this there's like a picture of a dude and there's like some some stuff about pregnancy and he's like i know cassie writes down everything so i'm gonna go ahead and read her read the journal now like i feel like i feel like i don't know i don't, I don't think there is a way to justify reading someone's journal but i feel like this is the only way the only flipping way for him to realize that what is going on because i don't think she would tell me so, wow he just read that and he's just like do you feel really confident? New journal. Salem just read through another person's journal and it was deliciously entertaining. Hmm. So Salem just got done reading and there's actually nothing in there, which was surprising because, you know, you would think there would be something in there, but Cassie did not write about this whole event. Actually, she stopped writing after pretty much everything went on and it's just... He feels a little bit weird. He feels confident that he pulled this off, but he also feels kind of weird. Like, he just he just snooped through his girlfriend's, like, flipping, you know, journal. Like, he feels really, really bad about this. And he I think he's going to confront her and be like, yo, he feels really, really bad about this. Like, I, we all do things we don't really feel proud of. And I think this is one of those moments which he's just totally not proud of. But he had to because it just, I don't know. He felt like it was the right thing to do after, you know, the pages slipped out. This is enough for him to be a little bit worried and a little bit suspicious. But he doesn't think she's cheating on him. He doesn't really think anything of anything. He's just really comfortable and confident in himself and in his relationship. But... I guess it's a good thing, but at the same time, it would be way easier if, for some reason, he could just find out that Cassie is pregnant with another person's baby. 
Cassie just seems to chicken out so much. She just can't seem to do it. She tried to do it today and it just didn't work whatsoever. Anyway, um, what in what ways do you guys think we should have Salem find out that this is not his baby or should he never find out and should this be like our dirty secret? Because I feel like none of us are really perfect. Like, people aren't perfect. And I feel like we all have a secret that is better left as a secret. If it hurts the other person and helps you move on with your life, I think it is worth keeping it a secret. But if it's something really, really harmful, see, whether this baby is Salem's or not, I don't think it really um, makes Cassie a different person because it happened before she was with Salem. But she knows that having his baby will make him really, you know, um, or will tell telling him that it's not his baby will definitely hurt him. So by not telling him and keeping this a secret, she's definitely trying to be, she's trying to help him out. She's trying not to make him suffer. And I think that's a lie for a good reason. But I'm not really sure how she's going to keep that up because eventually the baby's going to be born and then she has to confront him with the fact that he's not going to look like him. He's probably going to look totally different and she's going to have to raise a baby of someone she doesn't want to. So there is definitely something to be thinking about, but perhaps by chance, maybe something and solution will come falling from the sky and um, I don't know, you know what? You know what? Anyway, I don't think it's been a time. Blah, 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 blah. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think we should do. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.